All right, we're just going on a little field trip here with Finn again. And uh, this is technically the first car ride he's done with us. So we're gonna be working on our manners in the car, our behaviors in the car. And what we always do is we enforce a downstay because uh, we don't want our dogs to be pacing, overly excited or reactive um, on the car ride. We wanna make sure that they're in a relaxed position, relaxed state of mind, not becoming stressed, anxious, or again, overly excited. And the way we do that is by enforcing a downstay command in the vehicle. So what we're gonna do is give him a, a down command. Finnegan, down. tapping on the e-collar until he lays down. We say down, if he doesn't immediately go down, we'll begin tapping on that e-collar. We're at a level 12 right now. He's responding to that. Now, if he gets out of that down, we'll say no, give him another correction, and then give him the command again here to remind him no, correction, and then he's gonna lay down. That's perfect. If he needs some help, I'll tell him down again there, if I need to. So always enforcing this down stay on the car rides prevents any of those behaviors from happening especially if you're going somewhere that's maybe exciting like the park you don't want you don't need your dog to be getting overly excited within the vehicle jumping over the seats coming up into the front whining barking it can all be prevented with this downstay and that's why we enforce that finnegan can especially be quite reactive so i would imagine he probably barks at the window so again keeping him in that downstay he doesn't need to be staring out the window again he'll just be getting reactive or overexcited if he does so Downstays in the car, there's not usually much structure in most owners' lives with their dogs within the vehicle. It's one of those areas where there is like almost no structure and the dogs definitely feed off of that. And so adding some structure by enforcing these commands within your vehicle is uh, really, really helpful for their behavior. And we use the e-collar to do it. It makes things safe. You don't need a leash. You don't need a second person. If you don't have an e-collar, you would need a second person to probably enforce that downstay if it's not uh, really, really reliable. Um, but anyway, that's our advice there. We'll just keep the e-collar around our neck or within the cup holder next to us, and then we can easily access it to correct any of this nonsense stuff. Um, and you know, as our dog advances in their training, we'll allow them to stay out of that downstay like Dom, but we will still be ready to correct for any of those unwanted behaviors. But we use that downstay to really enforce that calm state of mind and pattern that in to the trip. And pretty quickly after a few repetitions of this, the dogs just lay down in the vehicle. So. Anyway, that's our advice there for Finnegan. We're going to be off on a field trip here and we will uh, stay updated on how that goes.